when the sun comes, the storms actually, instead of taking you out, they make you stronger. <laughs> they make you stronger. I'm waiting at the door and finally home. I've been gone for too long. Standing here a while just to take it.
IG Farm. It's all about God. I'm bringing y'all with me on another walk. <laughs> I need a walk today. This walk is definitely for me. I just need to be able to settle down, settle in. And uh, I've been um, thinking a lot about like Mary and Martha and like just trying to let the Lord minister to me through those uh, verses about Mary and Martha. Really just looking at some of the women in the Bible like Mary Magdalene and um, Mary Jesus' mother and just trying to like learn as much as I can about who they are, who they were. And one of the um, things that I read in scripture about um, Mary Magdalene is that she was one of the first at the tomb when Jesus had risen, when he rose from the dead. And uh, just how amazing they were, like how closely they followed Jesus and how just um, devoted they were to him. And it's just so beautiful, so wonderful to like look at their lives, look at Mary's life and how devoted she was to following Jesus, to following God and just reflecting back on like Mary and Martha and like Martha was serving Jesus. I think she gets a bad rap, you know, because she was doing uh, just you know, busy, I guess, or doing things, but it wasn't the fact that she was just doing things that was bad. Like, God wants us to serve Him and do things for Him, and I just, you know, sit around, you know, so I was trying to get, like, a deep revelation <laughs> of that scripture, because I know that Jesus doesn't just want me to sit around. When He says, sit at my feet, like, it's, it's, it's more to it than just staying at his feet, you know, because I take that scripture with the other scriptures in the Bible. And so I know that he wants me to be making disciples. I know that he wants me to be, like, doing his work. And so why, at that moment in time, did he, you know, like, chastise Martha? Like, I'm trying to to get at it, to, you know, understand more fully, like, what he was saying and what that means. And I just think it's more about the posture that I have. And that's why I'm taking this walk today. Because when he said, Martha, you are worried. <laughs> You know, you're anxious about many things, and only one is required. And a lot of times, um, I know I can be out of season, not doing the thing that's required at the moment that it's required. And I really want the Lord just to minister to me so that I'm able to take that nugget in, internalize it, and produce change, produce fruit, and, and be able to do the thing I need to do at the moment that I need to do it. If it's sitting at his feet, then I need to be sitting at his feet. If it's working, then I need to be working and not looking at others like, are they doing the same thing? Are they doing this? Are they doing that? You know, but at my heart, having my heart be a heart. That, that serves and loves and enjoys and can sit at his feet, you know, and serve him. And so just really trying to take in those scriptures as much as possible and not just on a surface level. You know what I mean? Because I know that there's more there. You know, I know that Jesus wants us to be Mary and Martha. I know he wants us to serve him in terms of serving him. And I know that he wants us to sit at his feet. But I also know he doesn't want us to be anxious and concerned about the many things and allowing those things to weigh him down, to weigh us down. Because at the end of the day, if Jesus is in the room, 
whether we're <laughs> washing dishes and cleaning up and serving or sitting at his feet. If he's in the room, we shouldn't be worried and concerned about many things, right? <laughs> Our posture, even while washing dishes and serving, should be different. Even while working, even while making disciples, even while doing the things that he commands us to do, our posture should be a posture of, okay, he's with me. He's in the room. I don't have to be worried and concerned about many things. And how do I take this, like, feeling on the inside? <laughs> if it's anxiety, if it's whatever it is that I'm worried and concerned about, you know, how do I sit that at his feet? and draw from him what I need. And um, I guess, I guess I'm just getting at it now. Like, how do I draw from him what I need and not be like, oh, I need Mary to be doing something, you know? Or, I don't know, allow my anxiety and my concern to block out the fact that he's right there. And because he's right there, I have everything that I need. So, yeah. I'm just gonna try and take that in as much as possible. And I just wanna continue to learn from some of the women in the Bible because they literally followed him. They were his <laughs> followers, you know, they were his disciples too, you know, and I just wanna learn from them and grow as much as I can grow. So, I also want to show y'all something over here in the garden. Jesus has been teaching me so much in this corn garden. And y'all, every time we have an intense storm or the winds come through, it will sway the corn. When we had the... Um, really high winds come through the ones that uh blew this tree down over here um it basically toppled over the corn and so i had to go through each corn stalk and literally stand up the whole entire garden and the smaller plants they did really well they looked a little droopy at first but they just began to stand up and then um, some of the really tall plants, they really, you know, didn't make it. They kind of toppled over, but we were still able to get fruit. Looks like they still, some of them are bearing some corn that we need to pick. But um, they were still bearing fruit. Even the ones that kind of, you know, didn't make it were still leaning really hard. But I notice now that when the winds and the rain come through, that the ones that are deeply rooted, they may blow a little bit. I'm trying to find one that's good. Okay. So ones that are deeply rooted, that don't have shallow roots, they may blow a little, but they will literally stand themselves back up the next day. But ones that root, their roots are a little shallow, like I really should come back here and put some more dirt up if I want this one to stand. Because if not, the next time winds come through, it will blow over. And so I can literally look at the ones like this one that will blow over. Um, and, and the ones that blow over, a lot of times, you know, they'll try and right themselves. But what happens is they get a permanent kind of bend to them. And they end up kind of leaning a little bit like that one. But, you know, it's still growing up, still growing up towards the sun. But basically, Jesus has been using this corn garden to speak to me. And he's been speaking to me about the importance of being deeply rooted in him. Because when the storms come and the winds come... If your roots are deep, then the next day when the rain comes, you're able, I mean, sorry, the storms come and the winds come and the rain comes 
and you're, you know, swayed to and fro or you're, you know, bent <laughs> by those storms. But then the next day when the sun comes up, you're able to be strengthened and to grow. And then literally the plants, because they're alive, when they grow towards the sun, they're able to straighten themselves and gain strength. And I literally have seen the plants, the ones that were deeply rooted, stand themselves back up. Like, how amazing is that? And the Lord was like, you can be like that. If you have a firm foundation in Jesus Christ, if you are deeply rooted in him, the winds can come and the rains will come, but you're built on a rock, you know? So when the sun comes, the storms actually, instead of taking you out, they make you stronger. <laughs> they make you stronger. And it's been beautiful to see a living picture of that in the garden. A living, living picture of that. And so... For those of you who stuck it out in the garden with me to the end, this is my prayer. I pray we will have a firm foundation in Jesus Christ. And we will be like the one who not only hears the word, but who does what it says. Who not only hears the teachings of Jesus, but who follows the teaching of Jesus. And that we will be like the one who builds their house on a rock a firm foundation and that when the winds of life come and the rain of life comes that we will be deeply planted and that when the sun comes out we won't be worse for the storm but we'll be stronger and i pray that in jesus name amen that's it for now all right y'all side g farms it's all about god i'll see you on the next